Well, it's a beautiful morning. We're out on Sydney Harbour, middle head at the minute, catching a few squid. And I'm here with Craig McGill. Now, Craig has actually been on the harbour now. How many years have you been guiding, mate? Getting close to 30 years. 30 years? Oh, my God. That is crazy. It is crazy. Tell well, me about it. It's fantastic, though, that you can, you know, have a fishery like this. Sydney Harbour, biggest city in Australia. And you've got, uh, well, you've got a squid on there. But the fact that it's still producing, which is great, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, mate, and it just seems to just seems to be getting better too. Yeah, really? Okay. Things, yeah. Wow. All right. Let's get him in in the live well. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah still producing and yeah. getting better. It's interesting because you know a lot of other places you hear about fisheries decline and that sort of stuff. Yeah. And yet here we are in the biggest city in Australia, the most people most popular waterway and it's actually getting better but, but you know there's a lot of things they've done over the years so getting the commercial fishing out obviously had a, a huge impact that was about 10 years ago I think now yep. but the cleanup of the pollution too has, has you know had a big impact um, but yeah with the amount of people fishing it it's um, it's really holding in there well it's yeah amazing. that's fantastic well this morning we're catching a few squid we're going to attempt to get uh, some kingfish which are probably one of the major target species out here for, as, as sport fish go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, everybody's gone pretty much kingy mad, but um, wouldn't mind having a shot at a dewy too. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. We oh, I'm right. There, yeah, that's that's right up my uh, my alley. I love catching mulloway or dewfish, and uh, what a place to do it. We probably have the harbour bridge in the background, will we? Be very close. <laughs> Don't want to give too much away. But no, that I reckon sounds. We'll be close. That sounds good. It's, it, it is an amazing harbour. Lots of deep water. So squid along uh, pretty much most of these rocky out, outcrops and the, the headlands will produce some squid out here? Basically anywhere you find kelp. Anywhere that, you find my, kelp? Yeah, that's my formula, which tends to be around the headlands, but yeah. there's some spots out in the middle, you know, Sound Pigs Reef and a few places like that. Yep. As long as you've got kelp weed, you'll get squid. Well, right in front of us here, we've got the mouth of, uh, of this whole big system. And uh, so you've got the swell coming through at the moment. That's why it's a little bit rough where we are. But that's why the kelp's in here as well. So uh, you're going to get squid around the kelp. There we go. Good little size too, that one. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put some smaller jigs on. So what we're going to do here, nice simple way to do it. I'm actually going to put two on. So I'm just going to do a little knot in our trace. Just something simple like that. So you just basically fold the line over, roll it back on itself, go through three times. Okay, and we've got this little loop there now. So what I'm gonna do, slide that one through and then just wrap it back over the top. And that's one jig there. Just tie this one on normally down the bottom. You ever get two at once? I yeah. very rarely gets tangled. Often put a heavier one on the bottom and a, and a little one on the top. Yeah. And you can cast it a thousand times and even yeah. even the way it sits in the in the water just yeah, you just don't ever get a tangle. Yeah. So. I've got these two Garmin units. Now, if you look up on this screen here, we can see exactly what we're after, which is kelp. And you can see the kelp sitting up above the harder bottom. Right through here. And we've just gone over a nice big patch just up further. So it means I can go back up and swing back around. A little bit of bait fish there as well is coming through. All these indicators really help when you're trying to locate your squid and your fish. Where the bait fish are, well, squid will be schooling around there as well because they want something to eat. They're real predators, the squid, and they'll send those tentacles out and get hold of some of this bait. So around this section here, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't hook up. Got one. Got one on already. <laughs> as you said, hook up. <laughs> well, it might be the might be missed the bottom, that one. Oh, there's a bit of kelp, actually. <laughs> no, I got one. You got one? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Right here, 
We saw the bait, we saw the kelp, and Craig's on out the back. So perfect, the nice big one as well. Look at that coming in. And that's how important having the right marine electronics are. We've got these Garmin units, number one, and check out garmin.com.au if you want to be able to see what we see underwater. Woohoo! Good stuff. Nice. As you said, hook up, the rod <laughs> bent over. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, Craig's put on a beautiful little arrow squid. Have a look at that. It is tiny. And that was one of the ones, I think the jig was about as big as it just before. But that's a perfect bait. You see a really super sharp hook, 50 pound uh, fluorocarbon trace onto 50 pound braid, Saragossa, Shimano rod and reel combo, which is uh, perfect. And you can see he's just swimming in the water there. And what we're looking for is some structure. And obviously structure underneath this is really important. And uh, through this section here, there's lots of ups and downs, lots of kelp beds, some great places for, uh, for kingfish to be on the prowl. So um, the tide's not pushing too hard, and I reckon this is the perfect rig. Just a small sinker. Now, the most important thing is making sure you, your sinker's not too big. You want it to be able to get down in the strike zone. You don't want it to, uh, to just sink it and anchor it straight down underneath you. We're working our way back towards um, a marker buoy and there's lots of marker boys through Sydney Harbour and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but it's always good to give them a try and uh, this is the best way to do it. All right, mate, what's, uh, you're just going to let it drift back or a little there. bit of a cast? A bit of a cast. All right, good stuff. Now, you never know how big the kingies you're going to catch here either. I mean, I guess at some stages you catch them 70, 80 centimetres, other times over the metre mark and they can really pull hard and you've got to make sure you've got the gear to handle that. And that's why I'm using nice strong Shimano rods and, uh, and with it, really good quality reels. This one here, Biomaster. And I've got a nice grappler rod. Sinker up the top here. It's just going to sit back there. Sometimes you can actually hold them off the bottom if you're right over the top of the fish. Other times you can lay it back and let, uh, let the current do the job for you. But that's a nice squid there, so Craig's just uh, popped out of the live well. It does put you in a really strong position if you're using fresh baits. And uh, this squid, well, was alive and kicking seconds ago. As you can see right now, beautiful white flesh. And if you go and buy it in, uh, in the local sort of store, most of the time it's not clear like this. It's actually got pink coloration through it. And the fish notice that straight away. They're gonna eat this stuff over the product that's left in there or frozen for days on end. They're going to eat this stuff first for sure every time. Beautiful, nice white, white flesh, and uh, this head is also a great bait. Oh, we got him! Got him? Yep, got him now. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, definitely a king. <laughs> Not a big one, but it's a kingfish. Want the net? No, we'll be right. We'll get him in. Yeah, he'll be fine. Beautiful looking fish, aren't they? Good, because I can't it's that yellow, out. yellow tails. That's their yellow tail kingfish. Oh, and this bloke here is, he's, gosh, probably only a year old. They grow incredibly quick. A lot, of, uh, a lot of these are also used for aquaculture because they do grow so quick. And there was quite a big uh, pen just up off Port Stephens, which uh, unfortunately broke away in a big storm. And there were thousands of kingfish there all around that four kilo mark, nice fish. But uh, they were used to eating pellets. Look at this guy here, beautiful. We hardly need to get him out of the water. It's a really nice little fish. Very healthy system here. Craig was talking before of how the fishing's improved out of sight. And uh, as you can see, loads of smaller fish. And there'll be some bigger ones mixed in amongst them. But the combo's pretty easy. This one here, grappler rod. Now this is a top of the range rod. Um, you don't need to go as expensive 
as this fella, but uh, this will certainly last your lifetime if you, if you get one of these rods. They are fabulous. And we've got a nice Biomaster Shimano reel. We've got a 50 pound braid, 50 pound fluorocarbon trace. As you can see, we've got a sinker just over a metre off the, off the hook. So it's all on the trace and just enough weight to get it down there. So a cast in, let it sink back towards you. And as it does, it's normally when it gets hit as it's moving through the water column. On over here. You got him? Yep. Good work. How's he feel? <laughs> yeah, good. Not huge, but... Similar size? <laughs> yeah. One of his mates. One of his mates. Must be a good school of them down there. Yep, about the same size. Yeah, cool. Oh, you oh. just dropped it right there. Bugger. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. All right, send him on his way. There we go, hook's out. <laughs> and away he goes. Nice and simple. 5060 style hook. And as you can see, nice strong swivel there. Bean sinker. And that's basically the rig. Very simple. You don't even need too many knots to, uh, to tie all this up. Basically three of the same knot. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, go on, you want to... What are you thinking? Uh, little, little Rat King? No, a little Dewey, I'm thinking. Little Dewey, are you? Yeah. Oh, I hope so. It's not huge, but... Oh, yeah, there oh, we go. Beautiful. That's glorious. Hang on. I'll get the net. Nice. Couldn't resist the head, eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're a great fish, aren't they? Aren't they awesome? Don't you just love them? And yeah. have you found, because of all the rains we've had, that there are more dew down in this section of the yeah of the river? For sure. The numbers of, of fish this size have been increasing over the last five, six years in the harbour. Okay. Just since the commercials are out, really. Yep. That's that's all it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so you got a good, a better chance of uh, of hooking them. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, we'll slide him out. Well, lovely little school Jew, and they call them schoolies. There's probably a few more around around that same same size. Yeah. Got the uh, Opera House and Harbour Bridge just sitting up there. All the big <laughs> cruise liners right around us, and we're on a on the harbour on a beautiful day. And look at that. Awesome. Amazing. We didn't have to stay overnight. We didn't have to get up super early for this fish. It was, no. uh, you know, it's probably a nine or ten o'clock fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the most important thing is uh, we've got lots of bait right here, and uh, there's a nice outgoing current pushing these fish along. But he got it. Uh, he smashed. This was our bait. That was a squid head. Can't go too far wrong with squid. Nice fresh squid that you've just caught, using it for bait. And this is the uh, the prize at the end. We'll get a second one out of that. No, oh, I know we will. <laughs> nice little Dewey. Yeah. Sydney Harbour Dew. Fantastic. How good's that? Craig, you've caught a few Dew here, mate. What's your What's your biggest? Any size to them? Yeah, we got one 80 pound here. 80 once. pound. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly! Big fish. That's Dad, massive. Dad How long daughter. was that? Uh, I think it was 1.45. Wow. Almost like one and a half meters yeah. like that. Yeah. 80 yeah. pound. Yeah, Dad and daughter team got it. Gosh, yeah. that's fantastic. Middle, middle of the day? Middle of the day. Middle of the day. Yeah, wrong tide, everything. Everything, everything was wrong. wrong. <laughs> what were you doing there? <laughs> yeah, oh, we're after kingies. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. And what'd you, what'd you get it on? Squid. Squid bait. Yep. yep, nice squid bait. Yeah. Nice and fresh, eh? Yep. Pays to have fresh bait. Absolutely. Wow, that's a good fish, 80 pounds. I think that goes with any fishing, you know? Fresh baits, doesn't matter yeah. whether you're off the beach, Beach worming. Yeah, worms, nippers in the river. Nippers, live prawns. Live prawns yeah. Baits, baits probably the most important thing in fishing, I reckon. 100%. Yeah. I reckon it is too. Yeah. Especially when you, you notice it even more when you're out marlin fishing, you know, and if there's bait around, you've got a yeah. real high chance of catching something. Yeah. No bait. No. Pretty much move on. 